Hello everyone. Right here. Doing the swap. My boy. J30A4. Right here. Super healthy engine. Super well maintenance. But wanna go something a little bit more you know more than horsepower more torque six speed manual with this kit right here j35 a6 why i choose the a6 and not the a8 like a lot of people because I already installed the RL cams in this one. I make the heads, triple angle valve, diamond cut valves, uh, pressurization, whatever they call it in the machine shop, and a little bit cut for more compression. With this one, you get 250 torque. We're talking about 36 more pounds than the J30 A4. This one got 255 horsepower. Then that one is 240. It's a direct swap. Mitsubishi timing belt kit. If you know about Mitsubishi. Really extremely good timing belt kits. Right now, I just leave every mount, every, every mount. I just disconnect everything, harness, chief linkage, uh, some uh, water hose. A lot of people, they don't take out the, the strut bar, goes right here. But I recommend they used to do it. Got a lot of space, you don't have to battle a lot getting stuck or destroying parts, whatever. Way better for you is a couple minutes, just check out this plastic. That one you got a door right there, you just screw it right there. One advice I have to you guys. Is this damper right here if you don't lose it before like right here I already take it out if you don't lose that before you're gonna have a lot of headache because those dampers don't get, get they get really really hard just lose it before if you if your air gun or uh, impact gun don't lose it go to a chop they can lose it for you with a big uh with a truck uh drive air gun i do it like that just they charge me ten dollars i think it worth it you don't have to battle losing the crankshaft i'm going to install take out the whole mounts Take out everything, and I think it's not gonna be really complicated. Just take everything out, get the space, and that's it. J35A6 from Honda Odyssey, 255 horsepower plus whatever the head job gains. J30 A4, 248 horsepower, 212 torque, 250 torque. Torque is one of the main important things in these cars. We need a lot of torque. We need to push with some modification like exhaust, you know, a really good intake like the V2 system or Takeda or engine or whatever you want to do it. It will be good for this type of swaps. Maybe later you put Hondara or 
you know, whatever computer you want. I think Hondara is the best choice. For these cars, that's the sad part. We don't have a lot of options for computers. We need to go to Hondara, spend at least 1500 tune. But I, don't, I know it worth it. This is my boy right here. Let me let me talk about these rims. These rims are 19 rims Honda. Not a lot of people know about these rims. These rims came from the MDX Touring Edition 2009 Tech Package. Put in my baby. Feels awesome with a 225-45 tire. And A batch springs with KYB chocks right there. Feels amazing. Feels like you don't even have 19 rims. I can recommend you one thing don't slam your car like ridiculous. It's gonna destroy the whole suspension. You have to understand that. Let me talk about how it works the suspension. If you got this space and you lower your car like this, you cutting the movement. When you cutting that movement, the car is gonna destroy all the components. If you got this space, you lower it like this you still got movement to the car. That way, your components is gonna last more. I don't say it, it's not gonna get bad, but they're gonna last way more than this. Be smart, don't destroy your car. Don't be a, don't be a kid, All right? Okay, we're gonna start styling everything. Then I'll make another video. Thank you for watching, YouTubers.